Any opinions expressed in our Sky People Radio do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Enlightenment Evolution Network. Any opinions expressed by Earth Sky People Radio's guests do not necessarily reflect the opinions of Earth Sky People Radio. Hello, this is Earth Sky People Radio with your host, Victoria Vives Kwong. You can find me at victoriavives.com. Today is Saturday, December 27th, 2014. And we have a very special show today. It is the last Saturday of the year. And what better occasion to join together all around the world to bring greater healing to ourselves, to one another, to the planet. This is a healing intensive episode. So we will have a healing ceremony to complete this show. For this ceremony, please have a white candle so that we all can light up those candles all around the world, bringing light and connecting in Canada, North America, South America, Europe, Russia, India, Middle East, Africa, United Kingdom, Australia, Japan, Iceland, China, New Zealand, Vietnam, Spain, and any other places around the world and beyond this world, connecting with our star families as well. Also, if you have healing crystals, have some with you, and the best one would be a clear quartz crystal. We will create a crystal grid all around the world, from each of our homes, sending healing energy that will be channeled through this magnificent crystal grid. We will be working with those two elements to bring outstanding healing, all together being a part in this, all, each of us, contributing. That's how we can make it happen. If you don't have those two elements, the white candle and the clear quartz crystal, that is totally fine. It will work also very well. Because you brought you, yourself, your heart. Your heart is the most powerful source of healing, so your presence is greatly appreciated. Thank you for being here today. So let's start now. The first steps are going to be about answering any of your questions regarding healing. Some of you have already submitted some questions, and I will also be taking questions from you live. So make sure to have the phone number and start calling now, and press 1 to ask your questions, so that I make sure to get to you. The phone number to call is 347-308-8255. And then press number one so that I know that you have a question. You can call for questions, comments, to say hi to our beautiful soul family. And there are no silly questions. There are no out-of-place questions. We all create this program together. You are part of this. So make sure to call in. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. When I think about healing, one of the first things that come to mind is surrendering to oneness. This means going beyond our personal agenda, our individual agenda, so that we can all work together as a collective, as the human organism that we are. When we are able to go beyond 
the boundaries that are illusory and separate us. The energy is able to flow again freely. Many of us may feel at night that we run out of energy and in fact, this is one of the questions I have received and I quote, how do we keep the energy going every day? Everything is energy. Why would we lack energy? We don't. There is nothing more than energy. There is, however, something that we may be missing, and this is flow of energy. So let me put an example. Imagine a beautiful river coming down the mountains, and this beautiful river has beautiful water, crystalline, refreshing, that is nourishing all life on the mountain. The animals, the plants are receiving this water. Suddenly, we start throwing twigs and the bricks and rocks to this river. So the flow of water stops. The water becomes stagnant. It starts looking different, smelling different. It is not drinkable anymore. It is the same water, just not flowing. The beautiful river turns into a tiny creek that cannot nourish any of the plants and animals in this mountain. With our energy, the same occurs. We need that flow of energy so that this energy can nourish each of our cells. It can bring anything necessary to each of our organs. So we have all the energy that we require for our minds, our bodies, our emotions, our spiritual development. We just need that flow. And the twigs and the rocks that obstruct the flow are anger, resentment, fear, grief, all those emotions that sometimes we didn't process, we didn't know how to heal. So this is a great opportunity for self-awareness, for going beyond what we believe we are, what we thought is possible for us. Out of all the things that I experienced in my life, the one that changed me the most for the better has been healing. All of my mentors and teachers and healers that worked with me have taken me to a different level of existence. And there is no way back, only more and more room to greater happiness. When we start cleansing our energetic fields from any blockages, we start experiencing the true light with greater clarity. So this is about peeling off layers of illusion, moving towards the center of our beingness to discover our true self. That is why the first steps of healing may relate to illness, how to cure illness, but there is more way beyond in which we become our true divine selves. So after years working in my own healing, I am still continuing this journey. To share with you a little bit about my story, I started in energy healing in 2000. This was after a near-death experience followed by a Kundalini awakening and third eye opening. I encountered myself completely lost in this world because new windows had opened. So just a couple of years after my awakening, I found a metaphysics group and I started practicing and receiving healing. This completely changed my life. For a while, I was a little disconnected from the physical world, so I delved into martial arts, which helped me understand in a different aspect of energy. Until in 2011, I started finding my true mentors. 
the mentors that share an energetic lineage with me, reconnecting me with my ancestors, reconnecting me with my true power, with my guides. And this turned into changing my whole life from being in entertainment into wanting to share about healing with everyone. After having suffered the illusion of separation, just because of not understanding life, energy healing appeared to me as the best way in which we can awaken, in which we can help others. So it is my honor and my pleasure to share this with you today. For those in Los Angeles or close to Los Angeles, feel free to check my website, reikiwellbeing.org. I have gatherings and classes every single week and also an apprenticeship starting in January in which I will become your mentor to share this adventure of transformation with you. I also want to make available to you all the free resources I am able to. So you can go to my website, victoriavives.com forward slash healing and you will see meditations, visualizations, videos about crystal healing so that you can start learning from home. I will continue now with another wonderful question from my Facebook friends. So this question is, is the healing for the body physiologically or for mind, beliefs, and thoughts? And this is such an important point. We have the tendency of seeing ourselves as different aspects within ourselves, mind, body, spirit, emotions. In reality, everything is one and the same. Everything is connected. However, because we live from this perspective, it is important to also acknowledge all levels of beingness. So when somebody comes to a class or a session, I always recommend to make sure to honor all of your facets. It is not just about practicing energy healing, but also making sure that you are taking care of your body, of your emotions, of your mind. So the most effective way that I found is to really honor its level of bigness. And because of this, I want to offer a health intensive. So this is going to be another special show, but this time instead to focus on energy healing, this will be physical body healing so that we can also cover that aspect. And when you work on both together, the healing is even more powerful. At the same time, the energy healing is going to completely help physiologically. It's going to help your physical body. And the reason why is that, once again, everything is interconnected. And as I explained before, this river of energy that is flowing through us is going to nurture and nourish every aspect of ourselves. And one of those aspects is going to be our physical body, our organs, our cells. So healing and energy healing is going to work at a cellular level and it's going to definitely improve your body's ability to heal. Our bodies heal naturally. It's something that is innate to them. The only reason why sometimes they do not heal is because of this intercepted energy, these blockages. So once these blockages are removed, whether it is with energy healing, Reiki crystal healing, exercising, breathing properly, eating properly, any of those things that we start adding to our lives and we start changing our habits from unhealthy into healthy, all of this is going to improve your body's ability to heal naturally. Our bodies are going to completely improve their health. At the same time, your emotions and your mind will also improve. Your thoughts will also transform. Everything goes together. You could say that the thought is a seed that brings the emotion and the emotion brings the physical manifestation. So anything that you bring into your life that is going to improve any of those aspects is going to have a ripple effect in the rest. 
Another question that I have received is what is required to be a healer? Anyone can become a healer. We all have the ability to bring healing. All healing comes from the heart, from that place of compassion, affinity, and wanting to help others, that place of love. So anyone that has that can be a healer. Being around other healers or mentors and teachers is going to certainly enhance this process. We learn by example, we learn by our environment. If we watch television 10 hours a day, guess what? It's not going to be so easy to become a healer to be able to express that aspect within ourselves. However, if you start meditating, connecting with healing circles, finding your teachers and mentors, you will very soon start realizing that healing power that can be channeled through you. That healing aspect that you can bring into your life and help others around you. Sometimes I have people that come for a session and then they plan on coming every week or every month for a session. Whereas if you just come to Reiki Level 1, the price is going to be about the same than a session and you are going to become that powerful positive force that is able to bring healing to yourself, to your household, to your friends and go beyond of any mind limitations knowing that you can do it, that you are capable of doing this for yourself. So I strongly recommend to take Reiki Level 1 certification and see how, how it resonates with you. Maybe you love it. Maybe you want to change your career and become a healer. And this actually ties into the next question, which is about online attunements. And I always, always, always recommend to find somebody to teach you in person. For example, you can have friends online and they can become amazing friends that you trust, that you work with. However, the day that you meet in person with that friend, it is going to completely take the relationship to the next level. So um, I prefer to travel to my teacher if necessary, because it really makes a difference. In most places in the world, there is going to be at least one teacher for Reiki. It's becoming mainstream, so you have the opportunity to train in person. So I really recommend that. If you do not have that possibility, okay, then online at least is something. And, you know, what I feel is that at least once in your life, you have to meet a teacher in person and really train that way. When you learn Reiki, it is very important that you find the teacher that you resonate with. There are several levels in Reiki. The first one is Reiki Level 1 Certification. In Reiki Level 1 Certification, you learn how to practice self-healing so that you can heal yourself. And you also learn how to give sessions to friends and family members. This is a great practice and is the preparation for Reiki Level 2. In Reiki Level 2, you learn the Reiki symbols. With the Reiki symbols, you are able to use the healing energy in a very powerful and expanded way. Also, with Reiki Level 2, you become a practitioner, so you are able to start having clients and you can pursue this as your career. I normally recommend at least four months between Reiki Level 2 and Reiki Master. There are different ways of teaching these classes. For example, there are teachers that may teach Reiki Level 1, 2 and Master in two hours. From my perspective, this process of becoming a Reiki Master takes time. It is not just about doing it very fast, but really about going deeper into this training, allowing time between your classes and your trainings and your attunements. So I recommend to take Reiki Level 1 in a class that is a full day, Reiki Level 2, another full day class, and after that, allow four months of practice or even more so that you can go then into Reiki Master. And the next question is, can sex heal? The answer is absolutely yes. 
Sexual energy is one of the most powerful forces that exists. It is the force that brings life into beingness. So once we bring back the sacredness of sex through Tantra, through consciousness, through awareness, through the balance between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, sexuality can bring great healing. It is of course recognized by doctors, and yet, if we look beyond the physical, energetically it has infinite potential. And the last question that was submitted and that I will be answering before our live Q&A in which you can call is going to be how to heal yourself when you're in physical or emotional pain. So once again, for those who would like to call in the Q&A for other questions that I didn't answer yet, the phone number is 347-308-8788. And just press number one so that I know that you have a question. And once again, questions, comments, anything goes. Just connecting with you, my soul family. And if you are in LA, we can connect in person as well. I have classes and gatherings every week. So just go to reikiwellbeing.org. Also, I will start the apprenticeship in January. So if you would like to join you can also find the information in reikiwellbeing.org. And as you know, I have many free healing resources that you can find at victoriavives.com forward slash healing. So now, answering this question, how can someone that is in pain, whether it is physical or emotional, heal themselves? This sometimes may be a difficult situation, one of the things that I always recommend is prevention. The same way that we don't wait to brush our teeth until they are with cavities, it is best to always work on prevention so that our health levels are high. When we practice self-healing and self-care daily, it is harder to become sick and it is also easier to practice self-healing. When we are in pain, it is not so easy to reach that meditative state in which we can provide that healing for ourselves. So that's why, in general, I recommend a daily practice or a weekly practice in which we are bringing healing to ourselves. Now, of course, sometimes it happens that we are already in that physical or emotional pain and it's a little harder to reach that state to give ourselves self-healing. In these situations, I recommend to reach out, whether it is to a friend, to a friend, to a practitioner, and even to a spirit guide, an angel. When we are in a situation that is of not so positive energy, I recommend to connect only with angels so that they help you raise in your frequency. And even if you don't reach out to someone else to help you, just your intention of connecting with your own ability to heal yourself will bring miracles. So trust yourself and trust your own capacity. If you want some guidance on how to go about the process for self-healing, you can check out a follow-along process that I have at victoriavives.com forward slash healing. You can also just connect with your own intuition, trust yourself. This is a big theme, trusting yourself and knowing that you have all you need within you. Well, so these were the questions that I received, and now we will go into the live questions. So once again, the phone number is going to be 347-308-8788, and press 1 for your questions. And when we are complete with the live Q&A, we will go into our wonderful healing ceremony, joining with everyone listening around the world. 
And even if you are not listening right here, right now, in the same time that we are, it is totally fine because this goes beyond time and space. So just prepare your white candle and your clear quartz crystal if you have one. And in that way, we will create this crystal grid and this web of light from your home to mine to the homes of all the people listening right now. We are going to bring this healing and we are going to upload it into the metamorphic field for humanity, for our collective to download healing anytime we need it. So know that every time that you want to increase the healing in the metamorphic field, you can listen to this to upload new healing. And any time that you want to download that healing to benefit from it, you can also do that. We are creating together this registry in our metamorphic field. We can always interact with this field that has all the information about humanity. And now, starting with the questions, we're going to start with area code 773. So 773, please be ready. Hello, can you hear me? Call him from. Okay, so we're having a little bit of problem with the calls. So I will just continue sharing about the, the different questions that have arrived through the chat as well. So the other question was about how can we receive greater healing? Sometimes we may have the best healer in the world working with us but sometimes we may not be open to receive that healing so it is not about the person facilitating the healing but truly about us opening to it the best healers are the ones that can help us connecting with our own empowerment they can help us understanding that we have everything that we need within us so if we are able to reach that, it will be when we can open fully to the healing. In the same way, if you are a healer and you have a client and is not getting the results that you or your client wants, you can also know that it is not about you. You can do your best. But it is always important and essential that that person is prepared and ready to receive the healing. The healing comes actually from that, from being able to, to ask someone, help me. And that comes into another aspect that I always encourage people to, to honor, which is the ethics of healing. We may want to help the world, and that we can always do, but if we want to help one person specifically, and they did not consent uh, for us to give that healing to them, it is important to not do it. So when we are looking at someone and seeing them as needing our healing and our help, that means that the lack of healing is within us, actually, because everybody is divine, everybody has light within. So if we are able to look at them and truly see them for the la light that they are, in that situation, we will be able to truly, truly connect with the possibility to help them. Um, so many times the healing starts by looking within us and seeing why are we looking at this person and seeing them as less than pure light. So this is similar to the practice of Ho'oponopono, in which we heal within ourselves 
in order to see the transformation in the world. Okay, so I have some other questions from the chat and the comments, but I'm going to see if I can take a question from here. Um, I see a number, area code 818. So, you're in. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, it's such a delight to get to hear your show. I've been following your blog talk and your um, YouTube, and I get so much uh, wisdom and healing and power from the work you do. I just want to start out by thanking you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. It's wonderful connecting with you. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. <laughs> so do wow. you have a question um, have that a you would question. like to ask? Yeah. Yes. I do. Uh, a lot of the people that are closest to me that I love the most are going through a lot of challenges right now, health and emotional challenges, loss of loved ones, and um, people are experiencing anything from intense actual physical pain to um, a lot of anxiety. And I'm someone who, uh, I would like to study Reiki, but I'm not yet certified as a practitioner. But sometimes the people close to me, you know, they call on me for a prayer or visualization, you know, to help through different things. And I'm finding myself so concerned about the situations that are going on, or in some cases personally affected, that um, I'm not knowing how to show up the best to be of support to them and also to myself. So any advice that you have of how to anchor in healing energy when really um, when really frightening things are, are going on? Yes, great question. And, you know, when we are in this path of healing and we want to help other people, sometimes we need to, to find a way of, uh, to balance. How much are we giving? and how much we're going within. And seriously, this is a subject that I'm actually still learning. It's a hard one. So you absolutely need time for yourself. And until you are not fully grounded, centered, and feeling well, you cannot fully help other people. So, you know, it may seem that it's kind of self-centered, but it is not because when can you give your best to others? When can you be a positive force for others? Only when you are feeling well. Otherwise, it's not going to be so easy. So as soon as you start focusing first on your personal healing, your personal well-being, your personal happiness, doing all the things that charge you up, all the things that make you feel renewed, regenerated. Maybe you like going to nature. Maybe you like to get a massage, you know. So do all those things. Make sure to put it on your schedule and say, okay, every Saturday I'm going to, to do something I love. Or every other week I'm going to do this that makes me feel so happy and when you start putting more and more time for those things then the time between those moments for yourself can be more powerful for you to help others does that make sense mm. yes yes it does yes and in that way when you are in your fullest strength and you see somebody that needs your help you can be there a hundred percent but if you are there for someone and then the, the comes someone else and then comes someone else and everybody's feeling down and you are also feeling down, it's going to be very hard. You're going to need their help at the end. So it is very important <laughs> to start. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it is very important to start saying, okay, you know, yes, I want to help and I would give my whole life for this, you know, and I totally understand because as I said, you know, for 2011, I personally been working seven days a week. Seriously, sometimes I sleep in very little because I want to, to help, I want to share. And that is not a good example also. For me as a teacher and as a healer, mm. I want to give a good example and say you have to take 
care of yourself. Self-care is the first thing that healers have to, to learn. So since September, I started saying, okay, lesson learned, I'm going to start every week sleeping two nights a week in the mountains, which makes me happy, recharge me because it's nature, and I'm doing it, you know, and that's what we have to do. It is hard because we see all that needs help. That's our awareness, right? We feel the feelings of other people. But until we yes. take that self-love, self-care, so that we can be a, an example to others and others can also start loving themselves and taking care of themselves, until then, still we are in that process of learning it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do now for yourself? Share with us something that you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, I think that you're probably psychically tuning into the fact that I've not been taking a lot of time to do the things that I love to do. Um, I'll probably uh, play some drums today. I, I, I love I love to make music. Um, that's something that I, I, I would love to do. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so exciting. I love it. Yes, yes. And, <laughs> you know, I'm so glad that at least you know what you love. Because what happened to me when when I was trying to do things for myself... And I tried for years, seriously. And it's like, I really don't know what I like. <laughs> I just love to help people, to create videos. You know, that's what I love. So it's so hard. So we have to find something that is only for ourselves. So I'm so excited about your drums. And, you know, let me know how it goes. If you can tell me over Facebook, hey, I've been playing drums and I'm taking time for myself. I will celebrate with you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're really oh. an inspiration to me. And I really, I hope to to meet you in person and, and, and work with you, study with you. That's one of my goals in, in 2015. Oh, wow. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, so... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good evening or, or rest of the day. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. Yes, so this, that was wonderful. I so appreciate when you guys call. It is like I feel that we are doing this together because we are. So anyone that wants to call, once again, you can call at 347 Three zero eight eight seven eight eight, and we have another call. This is from area code seven seven three. So seven seven three, please be ready. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is not working, but we have another call. Um, this is from the chat. Okay, a question from the chat, and the question is. When we find ourselves drifting off center, how do we keep center when all about us is off center in some way, making us shaky and confused? Oh, wow. This is one of the scenes that I love to share in my classes, and I normally share it with a meditation. Um, and this is for centering our energy. When we want to work in healing, and especially if we want to work with healing for somebody else, we really need to understand how our energy is at the moment. So one of the things that we can do is centering our energy. That means that imagine throughout the day you get up, you go to a place to see a friend, and some of your energy kind of stays there and your thoughts. You know, you keep on during the day, but you're still thinking a little bit about how you met with your friend. Then you go shopping, you buy some things, you leave some energy there, you continue your day, and you still have some of your thoughts coming back to that moment. Then some of your thoughts also coming into the future, saying, okay, so later I have to do this, I have to do that. So that means that we are not centered because our energy is not in the present. Some of our energy is in the future, some is in the past, and at the end of the day, we're completely drained and in pieces, literally. <laughs> if we could see it uh, as psychic energy, we would see the different pieces of ourselves in different places. So from time to time, during your day, focus on centering. That means you can close your eyes, even right now, just close your eyes for a moment and breathe in your energy. You can visualize your energy coming back to you as beautiful particles 
of light and reintegrating into your body so that all of who you are is right here, right now. And also it will help you if you place your hands in the prayer position. That means both hands touching together in front of your heart. So that is the prayer position that brings right and left together in the center, in the middle, right in front of your heart. And that also helps you center in your energy. Always before any session that I'm going to give or any class, I like to do this. Centering my energy, bringing all of who I am right here. So hopefully this answers your question for the person that answered over the chat. And Oh, this was from Sister Friend Marie. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we meet recently. Okay, so if you have any other questions, you can call at 347-308-8788. Okay, so I'm going to just play one song, a healing song that talks about oneness, about how we are coming back into that place where we understand our interconnectedness and that we are all part of the same and this is one of my songs and after that i will come back to see if there are any other questions i have one more question that somebody asked and then we will go into our ceremony so remember we're going to have a white candle and a quartz crystal and if you don't have it it's okay it's just that i would like for us to create together a grid a crystal grid all around the world and then also connect our lights all our lighted candles around the world okay so i leave you with uh, this song for a moment and we will be back very soon <laughs> Where are you still going Okay, so we are back, and uh, the other question I had was about how we can contribute to healing to the world. Well, so things like today joining here together, this is part of what we can do to, uh, to bring healing to the planet, to the world, and even people that may be, you know, in a cave alone, completely nobody knows about them, they may be also still contributing to that healing in the world. So wherever you are, at any time that you want to contribute to this, you can do that. So one of the things that I recommend when you want to send healing collectively to the planet is to be aware of the, all the people that may be doing the same on a daily basis all around the world. So that means you can visualize start opening your um, your inner sight, you may be able to even perceive planet uh, areas on the planet where there is this light coming coming out, and you can intend to connect with those lights so that you become more powerful. Even if you seem to be alone, you are not. So you are connecting with those lights around the world and becoming part of that collective healing and that is similar to what we are going to do today what we are going to do today is creating that crystal grid and light grid and we are going to upload it into the metamorphic field which contains all the information for us for human beings there are different metamorphic fields in this case we will upload it to the one for humanity in that way we can continue uploading anytime we want in the future, and also we can download some so that we can benefit from it. So let's get together now for this and let's get ready. I have here my crystal and my candle. Do you have yours? Okay, so I will start by lighting up the candle and you can do the same. So this light candle it's going to be mirroring the pure light that is within you so that we can become more and more aware of that inner presence, that divine presence within us. So now all of us with the lighted candle can close our eyes and visualize 
that flame of light in our hearts and we can even feel the warmth of that flame in our bodies expanding from the center out irradiating beautiful light allow that light to grow stronger expanding and reaching out for the other lights of the people listening right now. You can even visualize your light touching my light, creating a grid, covering the whole planet, creating a layer of golden light that is bringing peace and healing to each of us. Through this process, remember to breathe deeply. And every time that you breathe in, you breathe in some of that light and healing so that you can enjoy it in your body, in your heart. And every time that you breathe out, you expand that love and light through this grid of light you expand it and share it so continue that way breathing in and out very calm very peacefully and with the quartz crystal in your hand place it on your heart center and this is right in the center of your chest where your heart chakra is Create an energetic connection with your crystal, sharing some of that light from your heart with the crystal, and at the same time, receive the healing energy from the crystal into your heart. Breathe that energy in and breathe out, sharing your light. Visualize all of our clear quartz crystals around the world, creating sacred geometry. A crystal grid through which our light is shared, bringing greater peace and healing to our planet. You are becoming a powerful force of positive transformation in this world. Continue visualizing this crystal grid of sacred geometry with clear quartz crystals being radiating light because as you know, crystals are able to store and amplify energy. So with this intention, these crystals and our lights together, we can see our planet radiating greater and greater light, almost becoming like a sun with rays of light that reach the universe. You can visualize yourself in the future, becoming healthier each day, becoming happier each day, more abundant, more conscious, in this process of ascension and awakening and everyone around you in the same way reaching out and feeling these healing energies around transforming their lives accomplishing their dreams as you do as well all of us in this together finding our life purpose so that we all can work together as an organism that works perfectly in harmony with Mother Earth. And from the center of your heart, send some love to Mother Earth. Imagine this love from your heart coming down through your body, your legs, your feet. And from your feet, beautiful roots are grounding some of this love into Mother Earth's heart. 
you can feel Mother Earth energy and Mother Earth can feel you, can feel your intention to connect with her, to be part of her consciously. So the whole planet is becoming enlightened with this beautiful intention. And in order to expand this healing, we are going to be using the process of transfiguration through sound. So together, let's tone. And for this, you don't need to to choose anything, any pitch specific, just anything that comes from your heart. So I will be toning with you and you can tone with me. And now after our voices have joined together, let's keep a second in silence. Silence is as important as sound. And take a deep cleansing breath and together we upload this healing into our collective. We upload this healing into our metamorphic field with the intention to make it accessible any time that we may need it, any time that we may want it. And we can reconnect with this field and this healing and this circle of people that today has joined so that we together continue amplifying this powerful intention and take a cleansing breath. Good. I thank you for being here today. Thank you for being part of this. 
each of you are essential for this transformation. We need each of us in order to become the future we are looking for. So let's bring that future to our now. We are making it happen. And I am so honored to be with you today here. Thank you so much. Okay, so next show on Saturday, January 3rd, which is the first Saturday of the year, we will have a little more of a warrior show. <laughs> this is going to be with New Earth Nation once again. In this new show, we will be talking about how we can start intentional communities, how would it be to join with New Earth Nation. So all this information will be next week in this interview with Sasha Stone with this Q&A. Know that I love you and that I keep thinking of you and feel free to contact me on Facebook and also check out victoriavives.com forward slash healing for the free resources so that we can continue doing this together. Okay, so I will let you now with the announcements for our network. As you know, this is a wonderful network, the Enlightenment Evolution Network. Okay, it is so beautiful to connect with you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care.